Well, this morning, Erin Karata is in the home of the Youper Goddess. And good morning. What are you guys whipping up today? It's always something new, Vicky. And yes, <laughs> I'm in the home again with my favorite master chef, the goddess. Ooh. She's a unique <laughs> goddess, as you guys know. And uh, how you been this week? Good. We missed you yesterday, but it's because we had some elephants in the way. So y You did. I, I saw that. I'm glad we actually got back to you. <laughs> and now we've got some grilled barbecue pizza in the way. Not barbecue. Well, you can call it barbecue because it's on a grill. Is that on what barbie, you mean? On the barbie. On a barbie, yeah. yeah. We're making a corn pizza. A veggie pizza. A, for a vegetarian, yeah. And we're making a chicken alfredo pizza. I yeah. never did it before, but how hard can it be? On the grill. It can't be that hard. She slides in all these secrets, <laughs> Mickey, when I, I'm not looking. So I'm going to make sure that doesn't <laughs> happen this time. But when we come back, we'll actually grill <laughs> some up for the first time. It's pizza amore. Wouldn't Woo you know it at the goddesses? location. <laughs> right now, I'll send it back to you, Vicki, live in uh, Ishpeming, Aaron Carrada, TV6. Thanks, Aaron. Do you think grilling and pizza don't go hand in hand? Doubt it. You forgot us this morning is with Aaron Carrada telling us more about this great treat. Good morning, folks. <laughs> We're all tired. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Vicki. It is a culinary adventure once again. We're all tired for the first time. <laughs> we are outside. I'm very excited about that. You've got a nice grill in front of us. Yeah. So we're going to talk about how you do the crust for your grilled pizza. I always thought okay. you couldn't put crust directly on the grill. Yeah. Well, when you roll out your crust, you want to use parchment paper because okay. it will not stick to it. And you're just going to throw it on your grill, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Just grab it and it's going to peel right off. And if it gets a little, you can just, you know, adjust it or whatever. I got some fennel on there. <laughs> Do you think this would work on like a bonfire too? If we put yes, if you're if you're camping, you could literally put it over coals. That would be so good. Well, I know the thing down here is pan fried pizza, pan pizza, you know, you deep dish pizza. Mm -hmm. So maybe you could put it in the pan if you had to. Yep. So you're gonna keep your grill on 300, and we grilled the corn too for our sauce for our one. But this is what it's gonna look like. Look at how nice. It's almost like a naan. And then when you put your ingredients on, you're gonna put it on the grilled side. Okay. Because then you're gonna slide this back, and that that'll cook. So we're going to make our corn one, and look at this really gorgeous sauce we made. It's cream corn, whole corn, cream cheese, and jalapenos. That's the veggie white sauce. Yep. And then here you've got an amazing Alfredo this sauce. This is my Alfredo. Pizza amore. Which, no, I'm going to adjust this recipe because you want to cut back on the milk because you want it real thick. I had to thicken this a little bit and let it, hey, we had to let it boil, but this looks nice and it tastes really good. So how do you come up with these ideas, Lori? Because that's that is well, you know how I came up with the corn one. I was watching Carnival Eats. Have you ever seen that show? Yes, I have. And they were making a corn pizza. And I'm like, well, how hard can it be? I just watched it like Sunday and I'm like, I'm doing it. And Dean's like, well, don't you have to make one first? I'm like, nah, doubt it. <laughs> doubt it. It'll be good. <laughs> OK, so this is a white pizza for the veggies. We're going to put it on there. We're going to come back. Yep, we're going to go throw back some on. We're going to have some made. We're going to taste it. And then you're going to do all your shout outs and we're going to catch up. Yeah. Because it's been about two weeks since I've seen you. It has. Yeah. Lots yeah. to talk about. We'll send it so back to you now for now, Vicky. But we are outside at the Uper Goddess in Ishpeming. Uh, Cooking right. it live. Sounds Pizza great. Morning. Yeah. All right. Thanks, thanks guys. <laughs> <laughs> This morning, we're grilling up homemade pizza. TV6 says Aaron Carrada joins us again from Ishtuming Township with the Uper Goddess. Good morning again, Aaron. Hey, good morning, Andrew. And it is homemade pizza, and we've got a white one, and we've got another white one. We Only do? this one's a veggie one. This is veggie. And this is your homemade jalapenos that I stole from the refrigerator because she doesn't <laughs> tell you about these details. Yeah, that's Pic in this. It's pickled jalapeno. Yeah. See, how do you do that? How do you make white vinegar hobby? and sugar and you bring that to a boil and you just dump it over and boom, done. OK, smelling good. It really gives them a good flavor. So the white sauce with the vegetarian. Let's start with that. Yeah, one. we did cream corn, eight ounces, uh, like three quarters cup of corn, three quarters cup of cream corn, an eight ounce thing of cream cheese and 10 slices of jalapeno. Because I only put five and I think it could have used a little I bit more. Say, only 10. So we grilled this one and see, John, how the bottom of this is? How nice? It's looking good. Can you see it? That was the so, side that you grilled first and we yeah, flipped it over. I got yeah, you. we put it, our ingredients on the grilled side. So we're going to just top it with some more corn and cilantro. How good does that look? 
And that's your veggie one. Now you don't put the, you're not putting the greens in while it's on the grill. You're doing it afterwards because we don't yeah. want to fry it, right? Yeah, we don't want them to, we want them to stay kind of their texture, you now, know? I reduced this vinegar. You did. Okay? No, you're going to, we got fennel. Right. Let's start with the fennel. The fennel was, it's like black licorice. I love it's it. It's so good. Can't go wrong. Can I put it Jubilee in? Jubilee actually has whole fennel now. This That's had a I big thought. bulb on the bottom. <laughs> I was before say, where I, do you get fennel? Yeah, they have it now, and they didn't before, which is kind of cool. So, and I, I like to use this part. It's almost like dill. Yep. It tastes really good. Now I did reduce this vinegar. So this is a balsamic vinegar. You want that, more than that, though, don't you? Totally. Let's go crazy. Uh, you, you wouldn't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm not shy either with that. And that is. No, everyone at the studio will be able. On top, right? to taste the fennel if you've never had it. No, okay. you made the glaze. I did, it was just a brown sugar after it was boiling with the vinaigrette and yeah. then it put it right in the refrigerator and now we've got. Oh, yum, yum. <laughs> I can't wait to taste that. A little extra pizzazz to my pizzeria, huh? Yeah, that's good. All right. It's hard to not be comfortable with you in this kitchen. I tell <laughs> you what, now you're making pizza. Is that a bear? <laughs> yeah. I got that pizza <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure, steal my piece. Okay, <laughs> shout outs. Let's knock it out for Rhonda you. Rhonda and Tom from Unising, and Bo and Connor, I hope you're waiting for summer vacation. And we're going to be at the craft show. We are going to be at the craft show on Sunday. I will stop around and oh my God, that's come amazing. visit. It's really good. I'm not going to talk with my mouth full. Why? That's what we do here. We do. Who cares? Italian. That's what we talk with our hands and everything else. But thank we you do. so much for joining us. Once again, it's a great time to see you next week. And these recipes will be on youforgoddess.com. And two weeks from now, we're going to be doing some fish. If, yep, if, if they're fishing in Lake Superior. If we can catch it. Yeah. Andrew, back to you in the studio, live from Ishpeming with the Youper Goddess, TV6 See Mothers. ya. See you later. Thank mm. you, Aaron. That TV6 Mothers Day craft show starting at 5 o'clock Friday at the Superior Dome, running oh, Friday, on. Saturday, and Sunday.